the more I think of it, the matter I'm getting. Guys, what's going on? Uh, this is your boy, Narek Chase, and I have with me Madam B, because we're doing another Madam B and Narek Reviews. And we literally just watched one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my fucking life. That was a zombie. <laughs> this movie is called Better Off Zed. And it's not the performances. And it's not really the budget. It's not really like special effects. But this is a fucking horrible movie. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can't stand this damn movie. I'll never watch this piece of shit again. No, there ain't no more of this. It's the beast coming out. Now, fuck this movie, okay? <laughs> fuck it. I don't give a damn about this movie. This shit fucking, you know, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh I got, my uh, gosh. Uh, this is a piece of shit movie. It, it, it is. It is. This is a horrible ass movie. Nobody should ever watch this shit. Whoever's, it, not, it don't need to be on Tubi TV. It doesn't need to be on the internet. It doesn't even need to <laughs> fucking exist anymore. It's a piece of shit movie. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. Explain the movie. What was the movie? Better Off Zed, which is a 2018 supposedly and it came out last year. drama horror. What is it about? Can you tell? It's me? supposed to be a, a comedy uh, zombie movie, mm -hmm. um, in the vein of like I don't know uh, what is that? Uh, uh, Shaun of the Dead. What was the one? Uh, Fido, shit like that. Uh, what was it? Night of the Living Zeb, uh, Deb. Mm -hmm. In the vein of that. It's not. It's about this stupid ass couple, stupid fucking couple that is in this house during the zombie apocalypse. Mm -hmm. That's it. Is that a bad premise? No. But it's fucking the execution. It's horrible. The writing is horrible. <laughs> the direction is just atrocious. Lane. What 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 were they doing in the house? It's a zombie apocalypse, and I can understand maybe the it, the guy's a slacker. So to him, he ain't got a, he ain't got a really no actual responsibilities. Okay. Basically, he was happy about the zombie apocalypse. He you know so he couldn't. There were no bills, no no, no nothing. Just no jobs, no bills. Down. They it just just free. Just fuck with a occasional zombie, make sure everything outside straight, and then the rest of the day just don't do shit. Mm -hmm. That's basically it. And so the movie is just about that. The entire fucking movie is just these two in his house not doing shit. Now, I'm not saying that I wanted to see a walking dead, mm -hmm. but it's a fucking zombie apocalypse. Some shit that makes sense would have ran through their damn head. There, be, there should have been some conversations that you would expect that was not in this freaking movie. Mm -hmm. They didn't talk about really about food, storing food up. They didn't talk about like scavenging. They didn't talk about actually building up the house defenses. They didn't learn. They didn't. Uh, learn how to fucking shoot a gun or how to slay zombies. They didn't do a fucking thing in this movie. This has got to be the sorriest zombie film I've ever fucking seen. No, no, no. It's one of them sons of bitches. Jesus Christ is a bad movie. Even the with uh, a comedy zombie movie, you would expect to see a little bit of what he just mentioned up in there, you know, like, they were running out of food, right? So, instead of going next door, which is, like, literally, like, what, two, three steps across to the neighbor's house, and he didn't want to kill his neighbor because he was his friend for some reason, but the, his friend was a zombie. So, and I imagine the dude had, like, loads of food, but he didn't want to go over there and get it. So, they didn't, you know, go off getting food or... Or searching they for They literally didn't do anything. anything. So, yeah, they just pretty much stayed up in the house. Doing dumb shit. Okay. Who the fuck sits there and goes in paint when you have to worry about the security of your household, food, trying to find medical supplies, 
any of the important shit you would think of. Even if you are just so cavalier about the fucking zombie apocalypse, you would still think about this type of shit. Now, like I said, even though it is supposed to be a, a comedy, it didn't have to be that bad. The movie was terrible. It wasn't even a comedy. There was no comedy in it. None. There was... It, it, it wasn't funny. It wasn't stupid funny. It wasn't witty funny. It wasn't clever funny. There was literally... What was the only funny moment in the movie was something stupid he did. That was the only time I chuckled throughout. And it wasn't like something he did. Because I got pissed off. And I, I'll get to them damn characters. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't wait to talk about this guy. But I don't even fucking remember. That's how pissed off I was. And I would chuckle that one damn time. But <sighs> the story is fucking pointless. If you ever seen a movie, you're like, why the fuck? Fuck am I watching this? This is that movie. It is if the story would have been them trying to make sure the zombies got out the house, they were trying to have some and eat <clears throat> trying to have supply, find supplies, stuff, fine. Even if he was this cavalier, the missus should have stepped up. And there should have been some okay, I'm finna try to my my boyfriend is a dumbass and I'm fucking this guy. And he's just stupid. And I need to sit here and try to survive. Which the only time in the movie she does it, it ends like it ends like a minute later. Mm-hmm. But so there's you know evidence that there are other people there. Uh, there are other people who survived, and this asshole is not. It's not because he's a slacker. It's just because he's the fucking awful ass person. Yeah. He's a poorly written character, a piece of shit character. So instead of him notifying his his girl that he's seen other evidence of other people out there. Right. He doesn't say shit. He even fucking hides it. Which inevitably leads to his death. <laughs> because if he would have told her and they would have went, then they probably he probably would have got the jump on them instead of it being the other way. I don't even understand that. I don't. I don't understand the fucking ending. But anyways, okay. So. The whole movie is nothing. Uh, it's about them doing nothing. And she's ready to go. She's ready to actually leave that house. And she's trying to figure out ways to get rescued. There are helicopters flying over, like what every other day or every day, dropping notifications that there is a safety uh, a place thing safety. downtown. And he hides them from her. He has all the flyers and stuff like that. He saw the guy running, didn't mm-hmm. say shit. Just and she finds them and she didn't do much after that. She yelled him out, yelled at him a little bit. That was it. She really that's kind of when she started actually wanting to in fact, yeah, that's when she started wanting to actually, she started pressing the issue on leaving. Mm-hmm. And then that's when she quote unquote like, like a few minutes later in the movie she takes it on um, to just be a, take the initiative and do what she got to do. And the thing, let's talk about the characters. The chick, I, she was stupid, but she was decent, I guess. She was all right, kind of, I and guess. She played uh, Paige, Christine. Okay, the, the two main protagonists are Paige and Guy. Paige, I, she was stupid, but she... I liked her a little bit more because she didn't go out her way to do dumbass shit. Guy, on the other hand, mm-hmm. I fucking hate this guy. One of the worst characters ever fucking written. Like I said, it ain't because he's a slacker. He's literally a piece of fucking shit. The scum of the damn earth. Whoever wrote that character is an asshole. Mm-hmm. Movie was stupid. Every fucking thing. When you what you said about the the zombie next door, his friend or whatever. Mm-hmm. You don't want to kill a zombie? Fine, I get it. Lure his ass in the fucking room and lock it. Right, because basically all they had to eat were beans and oranges from an orange tree in the back or the front. And they, they had like you know. they had like more stuff, and I'm like, y'all have been there for what? Did they didn't they say a month? I want to say they've been there for like a month. I want to say, 
But I'm like, if y'all been there a month, y'all should, probably should have been running out of food at this point. And I understand you had the damn orange tree and everything, but I'm like, okay, so you're not thinking about, like, the winter and shit like that. You ain't thinking about when the shit don't actually grow out the fucking tree. And they kept leaving off on what could have been, like, a, a nice little point in the movie. Like, when she was up in bed looking at whatever she was looking look, looking at. Yeah, she kept, like, zoning out, and I'm like... They didn't even show what she was looking at. That could have been a nice... Little help to get a story back on track, but yeah, she would literally lay down in bed and then get up looking at something at the window, and they don't even show it. They just cut. Like the editing is fucking horrible in this movie. It is. But let's get back to this asshole. I wished every moment that I saw him on that screen that some shit would go, jump out and he get fucked up. And I'm glad he, what happened to him in the end of this damn movie, cause that fucktard did the dumbest <laughs> shit anybody could do in a damn movie. Who the fuck does shit like that? You, and then you let the zombies and stuff just be right there for some reason, which I don't understand. Right, there, there was no, there was like literally what five zombies during the whole movie, maybe six. And, and there's one stationary. And, and to talk about the zombies, the fucking zombies were uh, stupid. They were inconsistent. They didn't fucking make any sense. And then on top of that, this is zombie apocalypse, and all these zombies are drawn in on your house and shit. Where the fuck the rest of the zombies are? And the zombies were doing shit that don't make no sense. You had some zombies that were stupid and were just at this damn fence. At the one part of the fence. They never left that one part of the fence. No matter where the people were outside, it ain't like the zombies shuffled around trying to follow them. No, they stayed at the one part of the fence doing this shit the whole damn movie. <laughs> at the gate. Why? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Then... The one fucking zombie comes through the damn through. There's a hole in the gate, and the dude straps his stra he straps his piece of wood. He untied the thing, the trap on the gate, and the zombie climbed through. The zombie un untied that. Literally reached through and boink, 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 boink. and then climbed through the gate. Didn't shuffle, didn't fall or anything. So I'm like, one, how did he know that the hole was in the damn gate? And then I'm like, even if he fucking knew it was a hole in the gate. How did he untie it? Move, literally untie it, move the board aside, step through. And then on top of that, he couldn't have found a damn thing. It was a bunch of trees and shit on the other side of it. So I'm like, how did he even see it? <coughs> I'm a viewer watching the movie and I didn't even see it at first. I was like, and then on top of that, <coughs> the, the, what was it? The friend zombie? Like, that did, part didn't make this, any sense. The friend zombie had, had got in their house. How? How the fuck did the zombie get in that, their house? Yeah, it was... Uh... Oh, shit. Then when they do get attacked by zombies, the, the attacks are dumb. Yeah, the zombie... It, I never did see the zombie bite her. I didn't. You don't see it, but the way he kind of came up on it, you're like, okay, I can see how he did it. But they tackle you to the ground before they even think about biting. Yeah, they don't come to you, but ah, ah, they bite and then tackle you down. They're like, that's it. <laughs> they throw you to the ground. That's it. Otherwise, because shit, the one person that should have got bit was who? The dude. Yeah, it, it should have been the dude. Because he did all that to get uh, bottles, some bottles of wine, climbed over the fence. Where the zombies were just to get some wine and instead of after he put the bottles in his bag, instead of putting the bag on the fence, then climbing down, he literally put the He throws the fucking bag down. The book bag. He just literally does like yeah. that with bottles of wine and on I'll, fucking concrete. And they all broke, so. I was like, I hate this guy. What so was he, he he was thinking about that for some days and when he finally did it, that's what it ended up in. And then on top of that, I'm like, you got zombies. You got zombies outside your house. You've killed one of them, which they showed on screen because they was acting like bitches about it the entire time about killing zombies. But fine, okay. You don't want to kill the zombies or whatever. But I'm like, you ran up and you just killed this one zombie randomly one time. And I'm like, okay, is that going anywhere? No, it didn't. Right. Zombies, they let the zombies still shuffle outside the, the house. And I was like, wouldn't it make more sense for you to kill the zombies than go get the wine? And then get back in. Yeah, that shouldn't have been um, like the um, the plot of the movie. You know, they say she was trying to get him to kill the zombies. And, and uh, go go back up to it. I want to read. I'm gonna read the falsity of what this shit says right here on IMDb. 
I'm I, I want to read this to you. I'm gonna show. I, here got a summary for it. Mm-hmm. What if the what if the apocalypse came and you were happy about it? Log line: A lazy thirty-something is happy to sit out the zombie apocalypse in his fortified suburban, fortified suburban abode until his wife a- acts on a more pragmatic strategy for survival, forcing him to become the zombie killer he was trying to avoid. Didn't none of that happen. None of that bullshit happened. They didn't stay in no fortified home. This dumb, what was the only fortification he did? Put the damn board on the hole in the gate. Fence. Yeah. That's it. The rest of it, it was pretty normal. And then I got mad at her character because I'm sitting here like, y'all sitting here sleeping together at this crap. And I'm like, you are sitting here sleeping with this dumbass retard who won't want nothing, who ain't nothing but a trash ass character. I don't understand that. I didn't understand the attraction. This entire movie, I'm like, you cannot be feeling with somebody this damn dumb. But like I, I said, think it would have been a lot better because they kept showing, they showing her taking birth control pills, and then they showed a part where she found some pills, didn't know what they was, and she just threw them away. Like, okay, what were they? But yeah, it would have been if she would have to get up out of the house, stop taking the pills. End up getting pregnant, and then she's telling him, "Okay, we've got to leave now." And he keeps finding ways to keep her there. He ain't find a way. She but no, just, none of that didn't happen. That would probably would have been a better story than she was that. just a dumbass character. And like I said, but I hated him more because he literally went out his way to do the dumbest shit possible. What happened when all the zombies came up in the house? Uh, came in their yard. Their house got rushed by zombies. How? All these zombies found this hole that you yeah, literally had to crouch it. through and get through into their yard. I'm like, how? How would they know that it was there because the trees and bushes was covering it? And how would they know you would literally have to crouch through it to get through there? So the helicopters and stuff are flying over the houses and stuff, and the dude keeps. She never comes outside apparently, not without him. And I guess he times it mm-hmm. so she don't, so she don't see the helicopters and stuff. But all these helicopters and stuff are flying around. This dumbass not even trying to signal. He ain't doing none of this, nothing. So when she's asking him, is he signaling? He's not doing nothing. And another problem with this movie is, like I said, the writing atrocious. Who wrote this movie? I, I, I'm finna look it up. Who wrote this damn horrible ass crap? They need not ever turn in another script. I can understand you can have Amy Toft, director Travis Stevens. Both of them. They don't need neither one of them. Neither one of them needs to. No, they they don't need to work on another movie. Mm-mm. They need to go back to the drawing damn board. When I say the drawing damn board, I literally mean that fucking drawing board. That, this movie, is just dumb. Like I said, it would have been different if there was, like, if you look into their lives and stuff, fine. But at least have them have some strength. Because you're not going to sit there and watch a movie where it's quote-unquote zombies and stuff. And then and this guy's a slacker. Okay, fine. She would have picked up the slack. She would have been going into other people's houses and stuff, trying to find food and stuff. And I understand this is an independent film, I guess. I understand that there's a budget concerns and stuff like that. But I'm like, I'm quite sure you could get about three or four people to let you uh, go uh, film in their house like you're looking for uh, food and stuff. Have a quick little action sequence and then that's that. Have a zombie or something in there. And I guess they thought they were all you know, good since they had water, electricity, and gas and all that, but when it went off, uh, what happened? When they turned it all off, what happened? Yeah, what did they do? The dude was like, he hooked up some kind of battery or something. He's like, this will last us 10 hours. We, we use it only when we need it. And I'm like, okay, what I say? I say, you could have got like a car battery and yeah, that, try to utilize that for power. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. But you could have, he could have easily, easily went. And tried to get, just use a battery or something, like a car battery or something, and try to do it. No, this movie, it freaking sucks. I hate this movie. The person, 
when the power and I'm like, okay, so they never talked about the water going out. They never talked about the gas going out. They never talked about the electricity going out. And I'm like, so wait a minute. They never talked about the food running out. And this guy supposedly, supposedly, this like inventor or whatever he is. I don't know what this guy is. He's coming up like these means and methods around, uh, you know, them accessing water, them growing out on food. Okay, fine. Okay. Where did the garden go? Where, where was the garden at? There wasn't no garden. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, <laughs> I just don't know. So you got one scene where the woman actually smart gets smart and leaves him. And I was like, thank you. Fuck that asshole. And then it's like she didn't, where did she go? Like, it's like she went next door. She literally, yeah, pretty much went up basically next door. And then, you know, he runs around looking for her. She jumps over the gate to my whole bunch of zombies are coming. And I'm like, so why would you come back to the house? I'm sure they probably could have found a a working car. Yeah, you know? I'm like, you could have found a car. And I'm like, your house, you've already shown that, the, the movie's already shown that this place is like, the zombies can, a, a zombie got in. You mm-hmm. don't know how. It's, it's obvious to us. It's a, it didn't make no sense how. But I'm like, okay, it's, a zombie got in. Not not did, not even did you even take the moment out to be like, okay, let's go find how he got in here. You know right, what I'm saying? They slept with the door open. That was another thing. And then the one person, <sighs> the neighbor somehow who was infected. Again, like I said, if I'm like, if you need to get in this guy's house, just kill the guy. Mm-hmm. Just just kill him. I don't say your best friend, but fuck him. He's dead. He's gone. Or if you can't kill him, lure him into a room, throw him in there, or uh, throw him in there. Cause like, okay, the zombies are, are zombies and stuff, but it's like you can't. You like you can't. You act like you can't outmaneuver. You can't outthink them. Yeah, they're gonna chase you, but you know they're gonna chase you. You figure out how you're gonna get them in there and stuff. Nope. Nope. Not to mention, what was that at the beginning of the movie? He told his best friend to come into his house whenever he felt like it? Yeah. Just not? I was like, okay. So you they set that up like there's going to be another, like he was alive. Then you find out the guy's actually dead. So I was like, what was the fucking point of that? Yeah, and she was like, what and, did she say? And you know what? Yeah, something was wrong with that dude. Because what did he do every morning? Go out there and say hey to the same zombies that's been sitting there for like the last hour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like give them dap and stuff like that. Like, hey, what's up? What are you doing? Stupid stuff like that. Stupid. Jesus Christ, this man was a dumbass. I fucking hate this guy. I don't like this movie. What's your name again? Am Amy Toff. Let me go ahead and give you some uh, a little, a little, uh, some. This come on, come on. Let me. If you're going to write a movie about something like this, for one, give us better fucking characters. Two, if you're going to write a zombie apocalypse movie uh, with a couple and the premise that you did, and you t- it's supposed to be a quote-unquote comedy, what you need to do is put some actual good, witty, well-thought-out uh, comedy into the shit, okay? And on top of that, if you're going to do that, put that some some common sense shit because this whole movie lacked common sense from fucking A to point Z, Jesus, I don't even want to hear that. Mm, better off Zed, my ass. If you want to go see something, watch Better Off Dead. That's a hell of a lot better movie than this. Better Off Zed. There ain't no actual... There's no depth to the story. There's no good storytelling. There ain't no lesson. There ain't no development. There's literally nothing to this fucking movie. It's not funny. You don't care about the characters. There ain't no gore. There ain't no tension. There ain't nothing. You got, st- even when a zombie gets in their fucking house, even when the zombie gets in their damn house, do they de- do anything smart? They don't do nothing they smart. Scream. <laughs> This is how stupid these characters are. 
and how dumb and how poorly written this movie is. I can't get no water. You know, I, I do need some water. My damn throat is parched. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Jesus Christ. Okay. The zombie's attacking the guy. He has a, a set of knives set up on the wall just in case some shit jump off like that. You can use the knives. Did he bother using the knives? No. I don't think he had it for that reason. Well, I don't know why he had it. That, fuck that. You, he put somehow he got the knives put on the wall. I'm assuming he was going around doing little like odd things around the house. He was doing like creative things, yeah. but they were all like they were stupid too at the same time. Like that was they were they were kind of stupid. And he, so he put the knives on the side of the shelf, and I'm assuming I'm, I assumed that he had them there just in case some shit jump out. Just grab a knife and pow. No, this, he's bustling with this, tussling with this damn zombie, puts the zombie over the sink, doesn't reach out, grab a knife, and stab the zombie in the head. No, what did he tell his wife to do? Plug up the battery <coughs> thing and turn on the, um, the garbage disposal. The garbage disposal in the sink. Because the zombie hand was there, but he had a long sleeve. So I guess he was trying to catch a long sleeve in there. Mm -hmm. And I was like... So she literally had to... Plug in the battery, then plug up the thing to the battery, then turn on the battery. And she went to stab that zombie in the head during that scene. Right, and but he, he was like, no, no, turn it on. And then what happened? So the garbage disposal somehow tore the fucking zombie's arm off. And then she stabbed him in the head. So you're like, what the fuck was the point of that scene? And somehow during all that, I guess she got bit. Yeah, somehow she got bit. And I was like, wait, wait, wait. The one that was actually half decent, you you kill her off? And then this is how stupid he is again. She's turning. And you don't put her in the room somewhere. Well, she said she didn't want to go in the room. You could have went in the room with her. And then when she died, like she did, close the damn door. But what happened, like, every day at... Was it six or seven? Some the alarm go off that same song, and so when it went off that morning, that's when she opened her eyes, and then she started coming after him. And he killed her, but he wouldn't kill. Go in there and kill his friend to get so they can get food. That's what he I killed said. his wife. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess they tried to make it seem like like it's gonna be sad or something. Mm -hmm. And they're like, I only reason I didn't like the scene was the fact that she got bit, not him. I'm like, no, he deserved to got his ass. Eight. And then they replaced her head with a totally different head. Yeah, he ended up cutting her head off. And it, again, they tried to make it like some e like emotional. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. This is how bad the movie was. I... <laughs> it's just a stupid ass movie. It's bad. It's horrible. It's not, it's not even funny, so I don't know why they called it a comedy. It's... This is literally one of the worst movies. Ever. It's up there with that movie Birdemic. It's up with that that movie uh, fucking Ragdoll. It's up Tsunami. there. Z what is it? Tsunami. 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 It's up there with uh, the Sasquatch versus zombies. There's no. I wish they had a genre called stupid. Like trash, straight up trash. That's what it's need to be called, straight up trash. Which I, well, you know what? Fuck it. We need to go ahead and make a new series. Straight up trash. Jesus, this movie was dumb as fuck. I cannot believe this movie was that bad. And like I said, I've, there are, uh, like I said, we're not asking for gore. We're not asking for action. We're not asking for the biggest budget. But if you're gonna make a movie like this, one make better characters. And two, even uh, going to, let's go to Shaun of the Dead. Even in Shaun of the Dead, Simon Page's character at least tried to make a plan and was the smart one. Nick Frost was kind of the, the dumbass. And, and and between the two characters, it kind of worked out because you did have a smart one, but you did have a dumb one. And yeah, the dumb one did get on your nerves, but at least the smart one made good decisions, or better decisions. This movie, no. No. No, it didn't. All right, and so what happened at the end of the movie? After the emotional scene, somebody busts in their house, shoots them in the head. That's it. That's how the movie ends. Some chick walks in their house, shoots them in the head. And you're like, why? I think they were part of like a what? No, they said... 
uh, rescue squad? I don't, I don't understand. Like the woman literally just walks in this house, and a clear team. Clear team. I don't know. Some chick literally just comes in the house with like a M uh, uh, and the, the a, the same MP14 dude, or something. The same dude that he saw when he jumped over the fence, he was with them. So I guess what was like, the point of that? I don't get it. it was like everybody first. So the black dude that they saw running or whatever, it he just runs off and I'm like that's it. Runs off, finds other people, dude. I don't know. They so shoot. what was the point of that scene? Which leads up to them the guy getting shot, but I'm like, why? Why did she walk in the house and shoot them? Well, shoot him. He why, shoot him. Here. Like, why? What was the point of that scene? And if you look at the guy who was obviously alive. Anyway. So, literally, this movie is just a piece of shit. It's garbage. It's garbage to the full. It, even. It's even better this, off Zed. Yeah, <laughs> even the chick was trying to signal, trying to signal the helicopters that she kept seeing. But I'm like, you're in this, you're in this yard, this big house, it's quote unquote big house, mm. and it's got a bunch of like it's got the sides of the house are kind of narrow. I don't but, get the point. Of but the, the trees and stuff are hanging sheets. on. But this, that's why I was saying, I was like, you don't got a lot of room. So I'm like, why you just don't get on top of the house and do it? That seems like it make more sense. And if you know the helicopters come at a certain time, you would climb up on top of the house and be like, yeah, no, it really didn't make any sense. My thoughts on it. <sighs> Anyways, look, my final thoughts on this is a piece of shit. Everybody associated with this movie should be ashamed of their fucking self. Who produced, I ain't gonna say everybody, the guy who produced it, the dude that directed it, the chick that wrote it, I honestly didn't see, uh, I guess you could say there was some chemistry between the two, even though when you're watching these, like, you honestly cannot see why this woman likes this guy. The performances were decent, I'll give them that. The gore, zombie gore and stuff. It, it was minimal. It was. It was. Anything. It was. Because they really didn't. When they um, when she stabbed like both the zombies in the head, they you really didn't see anything. You didn't it's like their head fly off and all the blood splatter. We'll just say subpar. We'll just say below. We'll just say subpar. Because even the part where you see him cut the chick head off, I was like, why they're not showing her body? Right. That wasn't even her head though. So, just. And then you're right. The biggest mistake that this damn movie's make. Besides all the other shit. The most annoying thing that they kept doing in this movie. The most fucking annoying. What's the music? That damn music. They kept playing that song the entire damn movie. And this song just keep, these songs keep just jumping out. But they play like four or five times. I'm like, gosh. They keep playing it. And it's not like they bring it in and take it out. They play it for an extended long, uh, period of time. You're like, God. He wake up in the morning. The song plays. At the beginning of the movie, he woke up again uh, the next morning. That's like an alarm. I'm like, gosh. They making love. Ah. <laughs> He's staring at the zombies. I'm like, why do they keep playing this same song? I know. Gosh. Gosh. So... My thoughts in this movie is just straight up and this. And your rating? My rating is, I wish I could go below uh, one. I wish I could go below one. I can't even say a damn zero. I would say this shit needs to be fucking buried in the dirt. One out of five. So, since one is the lowest we get, I wish I could even do a damn half. But this piece of shit deserves a damn point zero 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 zero. <laughs> this shit deserves negative. One out of five. Horrible ass movie. Nobody ever needs to go watch this. This ain't a knock on the chick. This ain't really a knock on the dude. Even though I can't stand his character. Because I like the chick better. Even though she's pretty <laughs> stupid too. But, uh, but nothing against the actors or whatever. Because they have shit to work with. Especially the damn woman. But don't go watch this movie. 
this no, don't go watch. And I don't do that. I I very seldom say a movie ain't ain't worth a watch. This one, don't watch it. Mm, fuck it. Mm, no. 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 Okay. So in the comment section below, guys, let me know what your thoughts are on this movie if you've ever seen it. Easily one of the worst movies of 2018. And damn it, it's going to be on that damn list. I'm be, I won't be surprised if it come out to be number one. <laughs> and I've seen some shitty movies this year. But anyways, leave your thoughts right there in the comment section below. Hit that like, share, subscribe, and that notification button to get the best of what we got going on this channel. And we'll definitely catch you guys later.